Nesson and the Patriot League Network on Stadium present Boston University basketball tonight from the roof at the Case Center in Boston. It's the Terriers against the Navy midshipmen. The midshipmen work for a three, and John Carter Jr. now has 43s on the season. They scored 88 points a season high, and they shot a season high 51%. That's a pretty bounce pass from Jonas Harper to Souk Matone. He's the fourth leading scorer in the Patriot League, but he's yet to score tonight. Ethan Britton Watts turns it over, and Davis finds the open man, the layup for Greg Summers. I'm not sure what surprises me more, the fact that Navy has won four in a row here at the roof, or the fact that BU has never lost in Annapolis, as Jonas Harper finally breaks the skid in the corner, an air ball served up by Alec Lair. He does not take many threes, he's one for eight, and on the leak out, Ethan Britton Watts ties the game. Terriers without a free throw in this first half, while Navy has gotten to the line seven times already. Remember, Navy got to six personal fouls earlier on. Wow, Davis gets great elevation on that jump shot, and that time he hits the three. As the second half starts, Ethan Britton Watts is on the floor for the Terriers. Instead of Suk Matone, again, the Terriers trying to spread the floor a little more for that man. And so the Terriers saying, well, we're, that means we may have to go smaller. Rebounding, though, is going to be critical for the Terriers in this lineup. Luke Lair drills a three in Patriot League games only this year. As sailing in for a layup but missing is Greg Summers. Terriers might have gotten a piece of it. Walter White on the break all the way in. BU trailing by four, getting the ball back on the foul before the timeout, which was charged to Luke Lair, his first. Max Mahoney rubber bands his way inside and cuts the lead to two. Max Mahoney working on Njoku. Max gets it back to repost, trying to re-spin, and he re-scores inside. Oh my goodness, what a move. Max finds Walter White, and the three spins out. Big rebound by Mahoney, it's back up and in. Davis, the three is too strong. Big rebound above the crowd by Walter White. The Terriers turn it over. And in for the layup is Greg Summers to tie the game. McCoy, Harper, Hemphill, Ted Cash, and White for BU. Hemphill with a big three in the corner. Summers spins twice in the paint and scores and won. And I believe they might have gotten Harper again. Now McCoy. And now Ethan Britton Watts with the open three. How about the freshman? giving BU the lead again. Walter White kicks it out. Good look for Harper, but he's off target. Max Mahoney gets to the rebound. Walter will try the three, and BU has the lead with one minute to go. And now the Terriers dig in on defense, but Davis penetrates and ties the game. And a near steal by Davis. It's also the second overtime game this season, make it the third overtime game this season for Navy. They lost at George Mason in the season opener as after winning the tip, Jonas Harper right in on practically a breakaway to score the easy two. Lair misses the three, Mahoney back in position for the rebound. Walter White by himself and he scores! Walter White. White hits a big three with 1.45 to go. And the Terriers' six-game home winning streak is over in heartbreaking fashion. Navy with the celebration as they make it five straight here at the roof. Just the second home loss for the Terriers as they fall to Navy 60-58 to in overtime. And joined alongside assistant coach Walt Corbin. Well, this was a game that it never seemed like it was always, you know, more than four possessions, but this was a true grind it out game. It was a great game, a great atmosphere. The students were tremendous tonight. You know, it was just a great college basketball game. It was back and forth. We were right there. A couple of possessions just didn't, 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 you know, didn't get what we wanted to get, and they ended up winning. Well, speaking of those possessions, I wanted to ask you about the last one where Ethan Britton Watts' shot just kind of hung on the rim. What was the the expected event of that uh, that possession? Well, there were a couple of different options out of it. Um, obviously, when the shot clock got down a little bit lower, then 
you know, then he's got to go one on one at that point. It was right there on the rim. I thought it was going to fall, but it just it, it was a little short. You look at the adjustments that had to be made at halftime. This Navy defense really clenched down in the first half. What were you able to do to kind of get Max and the paint inside working inside out again? Well, they were they were almost putting three guys around him. So he does such a tremendous job of passing the ball out of the post. We feel like in the in the first half maybe it was sticking just a little bit too much. So once we can get the ball moving. That's going to cause them to get in rotations, which will then allow us to either get open looks from three or to get the ball back inside to him. Walt, it's Patriot League play, which means there's one game midweek, and you know the one on the weekend's coming your way at Wor in Worcester. Yeah, we'll, we'll just have to uh, regroup tomorrow and get ready to have a, a good two days of practice and uh, go to Holy Cross on Saturday.